Well, to finish this roof repair I'm in the middle of, I got to take out a few more courses of shingles here. Oh, this one, this one. Um, but to get to this one here, the very top of it extends all the way up into here. So it's nailed with the, um, held in place also with the nails from this course. So I've got to go through and pull all the nails off this uh, row of shingles here just so I can get this one. And I was going to show you how I uh, go about this or I'm sure everybody does the same process. But here's what I do. You got to go through and you got to get all the shingles all around. Everything's got to be loose. And then to get like this nail, you can see right here. Um, I like to keep pressure here because if you just lift this, you're you're more apt to rip it through the uh, the nail head through the shingle, especially on a really warm day. So hold this down, get that uh, flat bar up in there best you can until you hit it and then give it a little pry you can see it's moving up push it back down you can see it's come up a little then you can get under it with your flat bar and pull it out then you just go go on along um, and do the rest of the nails that same process um, if you do that take your time um, you shouldn't do too much damage to your shingles and should be able to reuse them um, if you want when you go back together you can put a little dab of um, tar or roughing cement on there to help help make sure it's um, sealed up good but it should also be covered by the next layer of shingles so that's how we'll continue on